beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful Melbourne weather. You don't see this beautiful. every day. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, and it got me thinking, right? Like, you know, on these beautiful days, it's just, it's so relaxed. So relaxed. stress free. You know what I mean? So relaxed. So, you know, that, that got me thinking <laughs> even further. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> how can we relieve our stress? You know? So, yeah. so that's they, what this video is all yeah. about, guys. So, we've got a bit, pretty good itinerary today. We're going to go through some sort of waste amount of stress. And hopefully, we can help you guys also prepare a little bit for the holidays. Because I know that's going to be a pretty big period in your guys' time. So, yeah, starting let's get off. started. So, yeah. what's one thing that we both agree on, which is like super helpful for stress? Honestly, for stress, I think it's more just like being cognizant of what is actually stressing you out. So, for example, if it's an exam, right, are you underprepared for that exam? Oftentimes, if you tackle the root cause of whatever it is, that's actually going to help you. So, for example, I might actually perhaps target my revision through the topics that I'm more nervous about because that's going to help me relieve the stress that's associated with that stimuli. And I think that's one of the main ways that I used to deal with stress, especially. Yeah, and honestly, what you said is just 100% facts, you know? Like, self-reflection is super important when it comes to actually, you know, tackling stress. And one method which, you know, in case you kind of struggle with, you know, how do I bring those thoughts out, is actually the idea of journaling, which is something that both Anish and I did um, quite consistently throughout year 12 and even now during university. And the idea is that really, when you journal, you kind of just want to put just a little bit of a brain dump, I guess, of, you know, what's going on in your life, you know, what's stressing you out, you know, what happened in the day, um, you know, other things you can include as well as like, you know, what are you grateful for, just appreciating what happens in life. And then after you kind of brain dump that, now you have the opportunity to actually reflect on it because now it's set in stone, it's set on paper and you can see it and you can think like, okay, this is, you can create an action plan of what you want to do with those thoughts. And ultimately, I think that's super helpful in terms of making a plan towards how you tackle those stressors. One of the final ways, and I know that a lot of, a lot of people sort of frown at this stuff is actually meditation. Now, Uri and I are both kind of religious meditators, probably the only two in our school, to be honest. But honestly, meditation is a really good way to honestly just take a bit of a breather for your brain. Year 12 is very stressful, a lot of different things coming at the same time. And doing a bit of meditation, things like five minutes a day, is actually very, very conducive to just relieving your mind of any stresses, giving your brain that mental sort of um, mental retreat that it needs. And I think you can couple this with things like walking around. So walk in your neighborhood, take walks. These kinds of things are all good ways to be mindful. And these sorts of things can definitely help you get rid of any of that excess stress that's going to be associated with your studies. Um, yeah, you know, if you guys have any stresses, just make sure you tackle that properly and don't panic whenever you get stressed, okay? There's always a solution when it comes to it. You just need to, you know, think about it, you know? Don't, don't panic, stay calm. How can I target that stress? And yeah, act on it and you should be fine. Okay, and remember, it's a short-term thing. Stress is just a short-term biological response to make you act, okay? It's literally to make you act. So if you act, your stress will go away. So there you go. Now, that's the first segment of this video. The next segment that we're gonna be talking about is what should you do during the holidays? Now, this has been pretty heavily contested, and I think there's probably a dichotomy between medical students and um, or aspiring medical students rather and those students that perhaps don't want to pursue medicine because it's very different sort of entrance processes so i think i'll speak on the medical side of things if you want to be sort of going for things like monash medicine you're going to need, you're going to need to do the ucat and honestly using the holidays as a starting point for the ucat is probably one of the best investments you can make because the ucat's very competitive it's getting competitive every year and if you can spend most of the holidays perhaps going through things like Medify or uh, MedEntry, mocks such as these are going to help you get pretty much prepared uh, for what's to come. Yeah, apart from that, another way which is super helpful when it comes to, you know, using your holidays wisely is obviously doing the work, okay? And this is really what Anish and I did um, in the holidays before year 12, which really gave us a super large head start towards, um, you know, year 12. And that was actually starting the content earlier, okay? Um, I know that, you know, I finished a lot of content during the summer holiday, holidays, which ultimately saved me a bunch of time during, you know, the final year 12. Because think about it, right? You're in year 12, you're 
constantly thrown exams, assignments, and other sort of stuff. And you have to literally go to school, right? And that takes time and stuff like that. Okay, when you're at home, you have all the liberty in the world to plan out and organize how are you good, how are you going to do that work. And there's hopefully much fewer disruptions which can, you know, which might alter your schedule. Okay. So for that reason, you want to fully optimize your holidays so you can get that kind of head start. Okay. And that's something that Anish and I both like to prioritize as tutors by making sure that, you know, we get our students ahead you know, accordingly. And then that will give them a huge boost you know, prior to entering year 12. And then automatically, whilst others are kind of stressing about the burdens of year 12, you enter year 12 already knowing a decent amount of content. And, you know, it just lifts off a lot of that stress. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think the final sort of thing for holidays is yes, get ahead, but do take this time to definitely relax a little after the year 11 year. Um, it's definitely going to get a lot tougher throughout the year, so you do want to sort of take a little bit of a rest. Um, and that's going to sort of help you keep your mental health in check, going to help you keep your sleep in check, uh, and that's always, always going to be a good thing for students. But yeah. Yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, if you want to learn more tips about studying and, you know, really have to get the most out of your time, because, you know, nobody likes studying for that long, to be honest, then, you know, make sure you check our website in the bio. And, um, yeah, we can help you guys out in that respect. But, um, yeah, otherwise, you know, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do all that fancy stuff. And, um, yeah, we'll see you guys for another video. Thank you, guys. Peace.